Guys, we've got a new tiny truck. This is a 116 scale and this uh, thing looks very, very tough. So on the website they are advertising this that it can go 70 kilometers an hour depending on your location. So I'm curious to see if this can go 70 kilometers an hour on my location. Let's find out. <laughs> So inside the box you will find the car, you will find yourself a transmitter, the instructions manual, we've got a 1300 milliamp LiPo battery, uh, we've got some uh, tools, we've got some spare body clips, some screws to mount a wheelie bar and of course a charger. So let's have a look at the transmitter first. So the transmitter it's got a good feel to it, it's pretty lightweight but uh, yeah the overall feel to it is uh, pretty nice and yeah it's got a foam wheel, we've got some disc brake going on in there so that's uh, nice to see. Uh, this is your channel number 3 and this is for controlling the light so you can turn the lights uh, on or you can put them in uh, some flashing mode. Uh, this little uh, knob over here controls the speed so this is uh, a digital speed uh, limiter so now it is in high speed when you flip it to the middle position it is medium when you put it all the way to the right it is in low speed. So on top you will have your on off switch, your reverse steering and your steering trim and your steering double uh, dual rate and that's about it. So guys the car, the car really looks amazing, I really like uh, the body styling they have added to the car and uh, yeah it's screaming go fast. So I already pre-installed the wing and the wing is made of a very flexible uh, material so that's uh, nice to see. If you look at the front of the car you've got a nice bumper with some working LEDs. So you have got some friction shark so yeah probably it will uh, bounce around on the, on the field but we will find out in a bit. So you've got some ching chunky metal drive line so you've got CVDs in the front you've got dark bones in the rear but everything is made of metal so you've got metal cups and metal dark bones it's called uh, ball bearings throughout as you can see it's got metal gears as you can hear and you've got a very big chunky metal drive line uh, in here so that's a uh, pretty nice uh, to see if we look underneath the car it's all made of plastic but it feels very durable if I try to bend it I cannot bend it and it really looks tough if you look at the arms the arms are made of some softer plastic material so probably this won't break as fast as the harder ones. so yeah that's pretty nice to see another nice feature if you break one of for example the the the, the, the holes that mount the sharks then you can inter interchange it with the front and the rear so you can place this one in the rear and vice versa and then you can use this hole over here so that's nice to see you've got some metal parts so the blue parts in the front and in the rear are made of metal and also this part is made of metal so over here you will find your brushless motor, this is a 2840 size motor and it's got 4000 kV so that's pretty nice to see. You've got your 2 in 1 receiver ESC combination and this actually holds a 3 wire servo which is pretty nice. So here's your battery compartment, just remove this clip and then you can uh, install your battery. You've got your servo here with a servo saver so that's a good addition to the car and overall yeah I really like the feel of this car. It feels very very sturdy, very very tough, very durable. So yeah, uh, let's find out if it is very tough and durable as it feels. So in the advertisement they are claiming that it can do 70 k's an hour depending on your location. So I'm very curious to see if this tiny truck can hit the 70 k's an hour. I don't think so but uh, yeah, let's find out. So guys we're on the beach and the beach is completely flat so we should hit some very good numbers with the speed run. So here's the car and yeah let's start with the speed run. So let's find out what it is. 
and until now it hit the 36 kilometers an hour so yeah uh, way short of 70 k's an hour but yeah the range of this car is terrible i just keep losing uh, yeah range so that's uh, a bit uh, disappointing <laughs> So guys, that was the ZWN16102 or you can buy it under the GGRC Q117. But yeah, the car, I think it is a pretty nice car and I think it's one of the best 116 scale cars out there. Why? Because it's got full ball bearing throughout, it's got a very chunky components on it. Uh, yeah, you've got metal gears inside there, it's brushless and yeah, the build quality is just there, you know. It's just a very good build car what i really don't like are the sharks the sharks are just friction sharks and this thing just bounces around you know so yeah upgrading the sharks uh, on this one uh, yeah is uh, is highly recommended uh, another thing what i really hate is the transmitter and the receiver combination the range on this thing is just terrible i think maybe it is 50 meters or something and then you will lose uh, uh, yeah connection or if uh, an obstacle is in its way you know you will lose instantly the connection with uh, with the car so that's uh, that's a down uh, side but uh, yeah the the car overall i think it's a pretty good buy for the money so guys that was it for today thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video bye bye